just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and my battery is flashing. Anyway, I am on my way to work. I just put Boston in the crate and he is such a good dog. The first day we had him in the crate was when we went um, Sunday to church. So I assumed he was okay. I went back in the house because I put his crate inside Savannah's room because he has attached to Savannah. I think I told you guys that so much. She gets up he gets up and he sleeps in her bed and we don't have to crate him at night which is a good thing but the only thing is he wonders at night he will get up I guess when he's done sleeping or maybe he's bored I don't know we're still getting to know him and getting used to his habits and his ways so he will get up in the night and I'll hear his feet on the hardwood floors and I'm like what are you doing and he'll just sniff around and whatever and we've taken him out to go to the bathroom well I took him out to go to the bathroom last night and he didn't go he just stood there so I don't know we're just getting used to him and I told Savannah maybe she should start closing her door at night when they sleep that way you know he won't roam the house so yeah so far so good you guys he is working out um, I still don't know if I'm ready to make that commitment yet and just say, okay, yeah, he's ours. But um, so far, so good. He is really a good guy and he is good in the car. And it's so cute because when you grab his leash, he is so ready to go. He starts wagging his tail and he'll put his head through the harness before you're even ready to get it on him. So yeah, he loves to go. And when I left the house just now, he seen me grabbing my keys and, you know, going out and he started wagging his tail like, oh, where you going? But he follows me around when Savannah's not home. If Savannah wasn't around, he would follow me around. But he just attached himself to her. Anyway, you guys, I better get to work. And look where this one is, of course. Let me see if he does it, you guys. When I pet him or anyone pets him. You know, I recorded it today, too. You recorded it? Oh, yeah, Can I seen stop? it. And then let me see. No, when I... Okay. Now, when I stop, watch what he does. <laughs> so I'm petting him, I'm petting him, I'm petting him. Now I'm going to stop. And he pats you like, keep going. I love this dog, you guys. I love this dog. I can have him. He the one that bonded with you. You the one talking about he's your dog. I watch you do it again. <laughs> that means keep going. That means keep going. <laughs> I love you. Oh, are you jealous? Ew! Ew. <laughs> I'm not petting you. He was he liked this actually though. <laughs> He's like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday. It is my early day. Um, it's 6.30 so I have to be to work by 7. So as you guys seen, Boston is in his claimed spot. That's where he sleeps. That's where he lays down when Savannah is just in her room. That's just where he is. So. When he heard me getting ready, he peeked his head out of the room and looked at me and I tried to take him out to go potty 
and he jumped back on the bed and he was like nope he laid his head back down and went to sleep it's like dude come on but when savannah closed the garage door for me he got up just fine and went potty so savannah's in the shower and look where he's waiting for her at wow this dog is seriously attached he can come on my bed but no he wants to wait right there boston 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 you can come in here, you know. Yeah, come on. Come on up here. Come on. My bed's a little bit too high for him. Come on. You can come on. Come on. Come on, boy. He's going to go around. I bet you he's going to come around. Go around and hop up. Come on, boy. Good boy. I don't know why he thinks that side is easier, but whatever. What? Hey. 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 Hey, boy. He won't stay here long, though. I mean, he likes me, but... I bet he's gonna go back out there and wait for her. She's still in the shower. Trust me, she's gonna be in there a while. You wanna tell everybody hey? Tell everybody how you're doing? Tell everybody how you're liking your new home? It is kind of working out. But, like I told you guys, I'm not ready to make that final decision yet it hasn't been a week so yeah just get comfortable stay right there just lay down it's gonna be okay <laughs> good boy you're such a good dog my little dirty oreo i keep calling him that you guys ever since cheyenne said that my little dirty oreo boy you know what y'all he is kind of like speckled <laughs> with his old eyes I call him we call him old man old dog um dirty Oreo his name of course Boston Boston baked bean Boston cream pie anything we could think of that oh we call him wiggle butt because every time you know we walk in the door or he gets excited then you will see his butt wiggling huh how huh, wiggle butt hey hey Boston, Boston, look at his old eyes. Oh, don't you whine, she's in a shower, it's okay. Don't whine, no, it's okay. Y'all hear him? It's okay, don't whine, she's gonna come out soon. You, you gotta stop that. Look, look who's letting Tyreek give him some love. He does like you. Yeah, He's, can I take him to the river? Yeah, Tariq takes him to the you American River. He got don't put that on him. Did he lick it? You really put it on his lips? <laughs> Wait, did you say yeah? No. Oh. Oh. Hey everyone. It is. Look who's here. And he dripped water all on my leg because he's a messy eater and drinker. Anyway, it is Friday, it's after work, and I just got out the shower, and I'm relaxing, and it's just me and the old man, Boston, that's here. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so, he has medicine in his ears, because before he came to us, they, let me fix this, hold on. Anyway, he was messing up his blanket. You guys know I don't want him on my actual couch. He has to be on a blanket or something. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So before he came to us, he had an ear infection because apparently Cocker Spaniels are prone to ear infections. Um, you have to clean their ears out weekly and I still have not cleaned his ears. Maybe tomorrow I think will be two weeks since he had some medicine in his ears. So anyway, that's the reason why he was doing that. And what was I saying? I don't know, I'm home alone, Shine is at work, Tariq is at work, Savannah's at school. So it's just me and Boston for now, at least for another four hours till Savannah gets home from school. So yeah, I'm just gonna relax and enjoy my time alone. Hopefully get to bond with him more, that way he likes me a little bit more than Savannah. I don't know, that probably won't happen. Hi huh, Boston? When I came home, no one was home, everyone was gone. And he was in his crate, because like I told you guys, we want him only crated when we're not here. So I let him out and he was all happy, wagging his tail. And we ran to the door, because I knew he had to go pee. So I took him out and while he was out there, I 
just showered and got stuff ready and now I'm about to sit here and watch the office and get all relaxed and it's weird because every time I pull out the camera he comes to me like the camera is a treat for him but I honestly think he likes the holder for the camera because that's what that's what he sniffs at the most so yeah every time I bring the camera out he's like what do you got what you got what are you doing it's time to relax yeah I may go change my pants because he dripped water all on my leg Ew. hello so it's much later much much later um is it really that late? It's like 9.20. Is it? Oh my goodness, it really is. Anyway, I have been doing a whole lot of nothing. Just relaxing this evening. Um, it's just me and Cheyenne's actually here. Savannah's hanging out with Evie tonight. Tyreek is not here. And Boston is right there. And I spread out his blanket there and then I put his bed on that side because if Savannah's not here. He's usually right there next to me. Well, not next to me, next to me, but he comes closer. But when Savannah is here, Savannah sits there and he'll go in his bed. So anyway, yeah, I'm just sitting here catching up on all of my YouTube videos. Um, last night, the weirdest thing, I was planning on vlogging when I got home from work. But ladies Bible study was canceled last night because the pastor's wife wasn't feeling very well. So when I came home, I made dinner for the kids. Yes, I cooked on a weekday. So I made dinner for the kids. And then after that, I laid down thinking, okay, I'm gonna take like an hour nap because I'm really tired. You know, that hour nap turned into all night. I slept almost 12 hours. Well, I take that back. I woke up around eight o'clock, kind of like confused. And I actually thought it was the morning. And I'm thinking eight o'clock, I'm supposed to be at work to work at seven what's going on and I sat up and I'm looking and Shine was like mom what's wrong I'm like wait it's nighttime right she's like yes mom it's still nighttime so I laid back down and I literally did not wake up until my alarm went off I'm glad for some reason throughout the night I woke up and turned my alarm on thankful for that but I woke up and I felt like refreshed and energized I guess my body was just like nope we ain't doing it yeah I slept nearly 12 hours last night so Savannah's back, and look what she's doing, and look what he's doing. Why should I do this? No, no, wait. He moves <laughs> my hand down. He moves her hand. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is so hilarious. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse you? That's so funny. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and as you can see that's where Boston's spot is. That's where he always is and yeah. And it's almost 10 o'clock and I am just moving out to the living room about to straighten up a little bit because now that we don't have Bible study on Friday nights anymore and I'm just opening up the curtains. There's a spot where you could see inside my neighbor's backyard to their pool. And I'm wondering should that board be fixed because I don't want Boston trying to get out and go over there because they actually have a pit bull. So maybe I'll go check that out today. And the neighbor that's over there that has the pool, I told you about them before, they're kind of weird, but they actually cut my lawn in the front, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and one time he actually came over to fix a board that was over there so yeah maybe if it is loose I'll mention it to him that way he can get that taken care of alright so let me straighten this up because the kitchen is kind of a mess from last night and then I'll come back alright so I started laundry i straightened up the kitchen um wiped down the cabinets i swept and mopped the kitchen floors and also my hardwood floors so i'm just waiting for that to dry before i get back on it and then i am going to do the dishes not very many but yeah just gotta do them and i know i work backwards um 
I should have did the dishes first and then mop, but I don't know. I just wanted the floors mop. Yeah, just sitting here, um, waiting for that to dry. And I don't think I told you guys, but later on today, I'm having dinner with my friend Tracy. You guys seen her briefly last month when we went out for breakfast. And I told you guys a little bit about her. We have been friends for so long. And she's one of the friends that you don't, if you don't talk to for a long time because just life happens and you have your own life and things going on but then when you connect it's like you never left each other's side you can giggle and talk and catch up she's that kind of friend and we are like okay we need to start scheduling time to see each other because I'm telling you we have been through thick and thin we lived together for a period of time when we were younger before I had kids and yeah so she knows everything about me She's one of those friends too, where I seen this meme that said, if I die first and my best friend gets up and says, there was this one time, sit her down. Yeah, she's that friend. <laughs> so anyway, we have been through so much and yeah, she's a really good friend. So I'm having dinner with her tonight. Our kids are the same age. Okay, I take that back. She has an older son and I think he is 30. Oh my goodness. I think he's 30. And then she has two daughters. Her oldest daughter is the same age as Cheyenne and her youngest daughter is the same age as Savannah. So both of our kids are graduating the same time, probably the same day. So we won't be able to go to each other's kids graduation. So we won't be able to plan next month because next month is May to schedule the hangout because May is going to be really busy with, you know, Savannah finishing up everything, her senior project and her graduation. I have family coming. She has family that's, you know, of course going to be there for her youngest daughter's graduation. So we won't be able to plan anything next month. So we're trying to plan a girl's trip just to go somewhere and hang out. When I know where we're going, I'll let you guys know. I don't think I told you too much about her or how we met. She was really, well, we both were really young and her son was maybe about a year and a half, not even two when we first met. Yes, yeah, she had him young and I was one of the friends who didn't judge her, didn't look down on her. And I know there's a whole lot of things you could say and I'm trying to choose my words carefully here. I have the utmost respect for her and I'm not judging her at all. She knows this. So anyway, um, she lost some friends because she had him young and she wasn't wild or anything like that she just this it just happened so she went on to live her life very productive life got married later on which i'll tell you about that story later her son grew up in a good christian household and he didn't get into gangs or anything like that like people think that single single mothers if they have kids really young you know that's gonna happen he went into the service and he's married now with Oh my goodness, how many kids does he have? I think he has three kids. I think he has three kids now. So anyway, all over the place with this story. We met when we were really young and I never looked down on her or looked at her like, oh my goodness, I can't hang around you because you're gonna make me have a kid too. I never looked at her that way. And so that's how we became friends. And we actually met at a church function for like youth and I don't know, we just stayed friends. All my closest friends are like this. You either like them or you don't because there's no in between. I'm not saying she doesn't have a filter, but she says what she's thinking. Or if she doesn't say it, you can see it on her face. And I think I'm kind of that way too. So that's the reason why we remain friends so long. I also like to surround myself with people who you don't have to wonder oh, I wonder what they're saying about me behind my back or are we good friends or whatever like that because you know, okay, if Tracy did not like you or did not like something about you, something or anything like that, she would tell you. She's That's just the type of person she is. And so that's the type of people I surround myself with because I keep it real and I want people around me to keep it real. I don't want to have to think, oh, they're probably telling so-and-so this about me i don't even want to go there with anybody so you guys i don't know if i ever told you guys the story about how she met her husband but if i have sorry if you have to hear it again but so when we were younger i was set up on a date with her husband and we went out on a date and 
I pretty much knew and he knew that it was not gonna work out and we were just laughing and giggling just being friends and whatever and so like in a, pretty much in the middle of the date I'm like I got a friend who you would like and <laughs> I guess it caught him off guard. I don't know, but I ended up hooking them up because I just knew, I knew that, you know, he wasn't the one for me. So I set them up. They went out. We all hung out like him and a, a, one of his good friends I went on a date with. They ended up going out and they dated and they married and it's been about 20 something years. So yeah, I'm so happy that I was able to provide her with a husband and we have this ongoing joke now that since I found her a husband I'm like okay you haven't been doing your job you need to find me a husband so that's like an ongoing joke with us so kind of corny but yeah anyway I know I'm rambling on and on but I'm trying to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on remember I told you guys about my co-worker from before who was in who had a major stroke well, it's not good news. It's not looking good. They did a surgery to relieve pressure off her brain. And after that, she has not woken up from the coma. They did some tests and there is no brain activity. And so there's no brain activity and her and her daughter share a birthday. Their birthday is actually tomorrow, which is Sunday. And so the last thing I heard that the family is going to get together after the birthday to see whether they are going to take her off um, life support because I don't think she's breathing on her own and go from there. So that's the update on that. Really sad. I, every time I think about that, my heart just hurts. My heart just hurts. Our life is like a vapor, the Bible says, and we could be here today, gone tomorrow. And I think about like, yeah, my kids are older and Tariq and Cheyenne could probably scrape up enough to maybe not keep the house maybe because they wouldn't be able to afford it but you know at least get an apartment or something like that but I don't I don't even want to think about leaving my kids to have to worry about that so okay Whew. anyway enough about that and I think the floor should be dry so that way I can go back and finish doing what I need to do you're supposed to be going potty go potty just sit in there now he's just laying there so you guys are gonna get sick to see him Boston. But he's so cute, look how he's laying on Savannah. He's just now starting to like, kinda lay on us. We have had him one week and one day. So he's getting used to like, being on our laps and things like that. Hi Boston. Yeah, he didn't do that before. Aww. You're such a good boy. I love you. I love you. My name is Doug, and I already love you. Is that what he says? <laughs> Look who is visiting me. I was about to call him Leo. We didn't have to force him here. I just pat up here, and he then he came all up on here like, what do I do? I'm Boston. 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 Hey. Hey, old man. <laughs> okay, so I am just getting ready to have dinner with my friend. We're supposed to meet at six. It's 4.30 now, so I'm just getting ready. I'm going to Red Lobster, and it's on the other side of town. It shouldn't take me that long to get there, but I do have to stop and get gas in the car. I haven't really vlogged all day, you guys. We haven't really done anything. Just Savannah and I watching Netflix in the living room in Boston. <laughs> So, not a whole lot going on today, you guys. Just having a relaxing Saturday. Um, I don't know if I said this in my last video or if I said this earlier, but we are starting to plan another family vacation. Probably not for this year because we want it to be another big one. And... Once everything is settled or whatever, or when I make reservations, then I'll start telling you guys about it. Or will I? <laughs> I don't know if I'll do like last time and keep it a secret, even though a lot of you guessed it. Most of you didn't. So I don't know. We'll see. Still excited because before you we went to Disney World, or before I go on any vacation, the planning part to me is also fun. So, you guys. So I am done 
Um, got done sooner than I thought I would. I jumped in the shower and whatever. I started get ready, getting ready at 4 o'clock. It's 4.43 now. Doesn't take me very long to get ready when my hair is already mostly done. So, yeah. I'll be leaving shortly. Hello, everyone. It is Sunday. I did not vlog the dinner at all because as soon as we got there, we just like hit the ground running and just talking, laughing, giggling like we normally do. I'm so sorry, you guys, because she actually doesn't mind me vlogging her, but I just forgot to pull out the camera and I'm so sorry. So anyway, it is Sunday. It is after church. However, I did not go to church today. That's why I'm looking crazy. Wasn't feeling very good when I woke up this morning. And so my friend Tracy that I hung out with, her oldest girl is the same age as Cheyenne. And Cheyenne actually went to stay the night with her tonight. So she is over there. Tariq is, who knows what he's doing. He's doing what Tariq does. And he's probably gonna see the end game movie, the Avengers new movie. Yeah. And then Savannah is with Evie. So when we got Boston, you guys, we knew that he wasn't good around any other dogs except his brother Bentley. Oh, and I don't know if I told you guys, but Bentley got adopted. But now I'm worried because I guess there's this family that's looking into Boston and they were asking questions about him. I am not ready to pull a trigger and say, yes, we going, we're going to adopt him. So. I'm hoping they move along, y'all. I, I can't make the decision that quick. He's good for us for now. I mean, we've only had him one week and two days. So, I don't know. I don't think that's a whole lot of time to decide, hey, he's going to be with us forever. I mean, he is a good dog. This is basically what he does, you guys. He's such a good dog. After church, Savannah and Evie came here with Evie's... Um, I guess niece or little cousin or something like that cutest little thing the little girl was five years old when we got Boston We knew he was not good around other dogs besides his brother and little kids So when I seen her walking in I'm like, okay I, I had just put him outside to use the bathroom and I told Savannah and Evie because the little girl I want to meet the dog. I said, okay, you can see him But I don't know how he's going to react and before you guys even think what I'm gonna tell you. Let me say, he did not bite her at all, so that's a good thing. So he was outside and they just opened the curtain and he seen her and he started barking. And poor little thing, she jumped and got scared. And I said, no, I said, just pick her up and then let Boston come in. Evie picked her up and Boston came in and when she was talking to him, Boston started shaking. And I'm like, no, get her away from him. He's just not used to being around little kids and that's how he reacts, he's afraid or whatever. I looked at her, I'm like, no. And Savannah's like, I have his face, mom. I'm like, no, I do not want this little baby getting bit. I think she's around five years old. So we just put him in the crate. They weren't here very long. So it was so sad. She went down the hall and she was like, Boston, hi Boston, and she was just calling his name even though he was in the crate. So he barked at her and she came and she started running. She was crying. I'm like, honey, it's okay. He's not used to being around little ones and it's not that he doesn't like you and I'm just trying to make her stop crying. But yeah, he is not good around little kids. So if we take him to like a church picnic when we do have a church picnic, I am going to have to be careful who gets around him because he's not good with little kids and men that he doesn't know put it that way so yeah come huh boy so that's trying to make oh, him howl <laughs> he did it before oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at her like yeah are you crazy oh. nope he's not gonna do it <laughs> Are you happy now? Are you happy now? <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> why he loves her 
she, but you used to be like Elmira with animals. You remember Elmira from Looney Tunes? She's a little girl who loved animals so much she hugged them till they died. Or it can be like Darla from Darla. From Is that her name, Darla? Well, oh yeah, but she yeah she shook the, she bag, shook the so bag so much the fish died. died. Yeah. All right, everyone. It's about ten thirty. I know I did not vlog a whole lot today, but I wasn't feeling very well. And then I don't even know what's all on these last few days so it's probably just going to be random stuff here and there you guys know how i do so anyway thank you guys so much for watching do me a favor before you leave please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video